Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to another video on ForgottenWeapons.com. I'm Ian McCollum, and I'm here today at Rock Island taking a look at a pocket watch. But this is Forgotten Weapons, so it's a pocket watch and also a gun. Actually, it's just a gun. Let me show you. This was made by a guy named Francis Labetta, uh, who also does makes things like uh, pinfire ring guns. In fact, we featured one of those uh, a little while back in a separate video, um, and like spy-related paraphernalia, all sorts of you know interesting stuff like this. And what he has done here is taken an Elgin pocket watch. This was a company that was in business from the mid 1800s until the 1960s. Uh, famous pocket watch manufacturer, and he has converted this into sort of a gun. So we have a barrel down here that threads off, and that is sized to hold a 4.5mm BB and a number 11 percussion cap on the back. Uh, so you actually have to take the barrel out, you press a BB into it, set a cap on it, and then you thread the barrel back into the interior of the watch. You then have this guy acts as your cocking piece. You pull it back, this is the trigger, and so when once it's cocked, I don't want to snap this down, but you push the trigger in, this drops, which is basically just a spring-loaded striker that hits your percussion cap and uh, fires the BB out. There's no powder charge, uh, so it's got a very low velocity. This isn't really a weapon, it's more of a Frankly, it's kind of a fun toy and a neat curiosity. Uh, in addition, because it uses a 4.5mm BB and just a percussion cap, this is not legally considered a firearm or in any other weapon or anything. Uh, it just It's just a plain old... well, it's completely unregulated because there is no way to convert this to actually use uh, proper ammunition. That was kind of one of the key design elements, because if you make this a, an NFA regulated uh, you know, any other weapon. Which, by the way, is a category that's intended to cover a variety of things, including uh, basically camouflaged guns. A gun that doesn't look like a gun uh, is uh, regulated as an, quote, any other weapon. Now, uh, two screws on the back, so we can go ahead and take this apart. Once we take these out, then the back of the watch... Sorry, you have to take the barrel out as well. And then the back surface of the watch will unscrew. There we go. That comes off, and you can see what's been done here. Uh, this is, I'm sad to say, no longer a functional pocket watch, because all of the mechanical guts have been removed in order to put in place this firing block. And it originally uh, was glued into the rear plate, uh, the rear cover, but of course the first time someone took it apart, uh, that glue uh, loses its attachment. So this moves a little bit in the body, but not too much. Uh, and you can see the hammer right down in there. So when I pull this back, really that's all that's going on. It's just there's a spring in there, there's the striker, and there is the trigger here that just acts as a latch that locks it back. So you don't cock this thing until you're actually ready to fire, because if you then bump this, it will go off. And even though it's just a percussion cap, uh, and a BB, uh, it still would definitely be dangerous. That will that will absolutely break the skin. You do not want to shoot yourself with this uh, at close range. So then one other, I, th I think just a cool little touch here, is that uh, sort of in a, a reference to the Doomsday Clock, the watch has been permanently set at 5 minutes to midnight. Of course, because the guts have been removed, it's not a functional watch. In fact, you don't want to wind or unwind this, because uh, it could potentially mess up the, the spring inside. There have always been a lot of people who are fascinated by firearms curiosa, uh, this sort of thing that doesn't look like it ought to be a gun, but it is a gun. In fact, there's, a, there's an older book, I think from the 50s, written by a guy named Louis Winant, uh, entitled Firearms Curiosa, that covers a lot of this sort of stuff and really oddball types of of uh, firearm, well, firearm curiosa. So if you're interested, that's a fun book to check out. Uh, in fact, I'll include a link uh, in the description text uh, to it on Amazon if you're interested in following up on that. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed the video on the uh, Libetta pocket watch gun here. Thanks for watching.